So not only Sony out their goddamn minds for selling a freaking PS5 Pro with no first party games announced, they are selling this goddamn console for freaking $700. For a mid fresh upgrade in a two terabyte storage system. And if you guys have actually read the videos from earlier, you will see that there was not really a big of a difference with the you know with the performance. Not to mention what they were showing was, was not next gen games. They were showing old PS4, PS3 games to show the better performance of the PS5 Pro. Guys, Sony is out their goddamn mind. Which is why, at this point, I keep telling people, hey, it's better to just get you, to just build you a PC or get you an Xbox Series X. One of the newer versions for the two ter, you know, two terabyte. Because PlayStation is, is out their damn mind. Not only are they money hadding games and then claiming it's theirs, locking IPs away from the, the actual developers like what they did with From Software and Bloodborne. Because From Software actually wants to remake Bloodborne and put it on PC, but Sony's saying no, and they are probably they doing it with uh, probably Stellar Blade as well, and a whole bunch of other games that could probably work better on PC. But for some reason, Sony hates its consumers, and there are PlayStation fanboys, the Sony ponies, that will dick ride this company regardless if what they do is very anti-consumer. Because what you guys see right here. At the bottom right here this is in yen 100 and almost one hundred and twenty thousand dollars for the ps5 pro in freaking japan playstation is already struggling trying to sell more ps5s in japan but all of a sudden they want to put the ps5 pro at over a hunt at nearly a hundred and thousand yen then 800 euros and now 700 dollars in the freaking us of a and here's the thing this stand that you guys see right here at the bottom is sold separately so you already know that's going to be like 70 80 dollars not to mention this is a digital digital only uh console and it's a lot more expensive than the one that you see on the xbox uh series x with the two terabyte they are selling this thing for 700 dollars it's discless and it, it doesn't come with the vertical stand so that's an, in case you want to buy those two to add on what you probably uh, you know if you are a physical gamer physical disc gamer that in total is going to come down to nearly 850 goddamn dollars guys if you want to say that pc gaming is expensive and you buy this shit, and you bought the PS4, the PS4 Pro, then you bought the PS5, then the PS5 uh, Pro. You're uh, you're paying over tw over two thousand dollars right there. So I don't want to hear a goddamn thing from people who say, "Oh, uh, PC game is too expensive." Y'all bought four consoles right there. Four consoles that's over two thousand dollars. If you guys are planning to um, buying the PS5 Pro, you guys are literally paying more than two thousand dollars. On a PlayStation, do you guys could with buying a a good a good to great PC? I don't want to hear nothing from any of you Sony ponies or any of you PlayStation fanboys that tries to cap for this. Because trust me, I have been getting into arguments all day about how this is very anti-consumer and how this actually hurts PlayStation in the long run. But people who are dick riders for this damn company will not stop capping for it and say hey it is what it is if you don't want to buy it then don't buy it which is you no know, if you don't want to buy this thing you don't have to buy it but you can't say it's the latest and greatest or you can't equate this thing to a 4090 which this thing doesn't even equate to a 3080 which i got right now this thing is it's like a 2080 ti at most i don't goddamn 3080 it just has more storage but guys look if you look at the youtube channel uh, right now for PlayStation 81,000 likes 87,000 dislikes the consumers are not happy with this and Sony and the, and the Sony ponies think this is okay to go ahead and just do this huge technical leap with pertains to gaming and not actually bring it at a real reasonable price people are just capping for this freaking company and they are okay with it. And it's, bro, like I said, the state of play is also coming out this month, right? And they 
and it's literally announced, it's literally official that they are not showing any first party PlayStation games. They're showing mainly indies and third parties. They are showing mainly indie titles and third party titles. So they are, this is coming out next month. I'm sorry, they are, this, this is showing out in, uh, coming out in November. And they have no first party titles to show it. Oh, but they got The Last of Us 2. That's a PS3, PS4 game. That's not anything new. They're selling you the same games over and over and over again. And then claiming it's new. And you guys keep on capping for this bullshit. You guys keep on capping for this anti consumer ass company. Now, you can give Microsoft and, you know, Xbox all the crap that, that you want. Go ahead and do that. But you can't say they are overpricing on a two, ter on a two terabyte console. $600 is excessive. It is. But at least it comes with a disk drive. At least it comes with a stand. It comes with the controller. This, the PS5 Pro, is literally... Sony is literally selling you at the PS5 Pro without the stand and without the disk drive. Next thing you know, they're going to say, hey, we're not going to sell you out the freaking uh, cores, the power cores to go with it. And you guys are okay with this because it's the name alone, the brand alone, PlayStation. Now, would this thing sell tremendously? No, I don't believe so. Because when I read the PS4 Pro only sold 2 million units, best believe this right here, the PS5 Pro for $700 or in uh, uh you know uh, 100 and nearly 120,000 yen actually yes 120,000 yen cuz you all know, includes tax Japan is not going to buy this shit Japan is not going to buy this crap freaking people Sony are out their damn minds actually thinking like this is okay this is okay this is a 20 this is a 2080 ti at most this is not no 3080 this is not no 4090 People are just lying and capping for this damn brand. Okay, so we're gonna watch this together and see if you guys can uh, see like a, a real major difference pertaining to the PS5 and the PS5 Pro. It, like I said, even though most of these games right here are freaking PS4 games, but yeah, they're gonna show, oh, it's the latest and greatest games uh, this generation, which it's not. Again, they showing their last gen PS4 and PS3 games. And frame rates that can be as high. Okay, as that's high. Borderlands. That's not that's that's not even their own first party game. PS5 has a powerful RDNA2 GPU, which can render. Wow! 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 That's not interesting. Anything from intricate details. That's to Tomb Raider. World that's a PS. That's an Xbox One PS4 game. Ray tracing allows for dramatic visual Oh my God! Including reflections off of water or glass. You can barely see the freaking re reflections. What the hell is this guy going on about? And the realism that comes from real-time global illumination. That's the Avatar game. Custom That's not a PlayStation first-party game. Okay, Ratchet and Clank. Resulting in ultra Again. transitions between game worlds. But this worked better on PC with an HDD. And they want to try to utilize the PS5 extremely extremely beastly SSD. This game worked on a freaking HDD. They lie to you, man. And data streaming rates so high that traversal speeds are essentially unlimited. You okay? I'm working on it. Tempest 3D audio It's barely a major difference. Barely. To the sound of the games. Demon Souls. Okay. With audio so real, you may not no even need guy. to see okay. the enemies to know exactly where they are. Finally, the DualSense controller has haptics that let you feel through your hands what your character is That's control. That's on Game Pass right now. It's wonderful to see such Not a variety in barely any first party experience. games. They show only mainly first they show only many third party games. The hardware capabilities, but when I talk to them, I do hear about their desire for more graphics performance. The dreams of the developers are bigger than can be supported at 60 frames per second, and that leads to an aspect of modern gaming that we're all familiar with. Then build you a PC where you can get better frame rates and better graphics with the same damn price. The same damn price. There are little there, there are literally my consider right now, which which is 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes away from me. Can or a PC part picker. 
They can literally give you a whole diagram where you can get the get better frame rates than this. And it's not held back by hardware. A 1080 Ti still plays games at 60 to 120 FPS at 1080p. The freaking 28 card can play game can play some games to 1440. Some games. A lot of those games on PlayStation are 1080p. Even lower than that. Forspoken was, I think, at 720p, 60 FPS. And that was on the PS5. What is th what is this? Graphics modes. It can be a difficult choice for players. Dude, the PS5 does not do good in performance mode. It doesn't. Fidelity modes emphasize the visuals, typically through higher resolution rendering. These modes might also have enhanced detail or use. Oh my God! See, I'm just see, guys. I'm, I'm I'm trying to boost it up so you guys can see it more better. But it's you got ray tracing. But the games only run at 30 frames per second. The visuals can be choppier and the controls less responsive. Performance modes emphasize frame rate and interactivity, typically choosing to run 60 frames per second. This that game Ghost of Tsushima can play games at 120 FPS. 120 FPS, that game could be played on, on a freaking uh, PC. That goes to Shima game. When asked to decide on the mode, players are choosing performance about three quarters of the time. Removing that decision, or at least narrowing that divide, is one of the key targets for PlayStation 5 Pro. We want to give players the graphics that the game creators aspire to at the high frame rates that players typically prefer. I thought they were supposed to be doing that for the PS4 Pro and the PS5, the 4K60. You guys remember that? The 4K60, which is supposed to be on the PS4 Pro and the PS5. Now, all of a sudden, you can get it on, on the PS5 Pro? Wow, these companies love ripping off their consumers. Whether it be Xbox or PlayStation. Hell, Nintendo, and Nintendo knows they not they don't need to go the extra mile when it pertains to like resolution and frame rates. Because most of their games is kept at 30. And they know that. They ain't got to go no further. They stay in their damn lane. To do that. PS5 Pro substantially improves over PlayStation 5 in three ways. Here's what we call the big three. Lots of GPU First, race training we made the GPU much larger and increased the speed of the memory it uses. The result is rendering that's up to 45% faster. Second, we made major upgrades to the ray tracing, taking a streamlined and accelerated approach that allows calculation of the rays at double or even triple the speeds of PlayStation 5. And finally, we added custom hardware for machine learning and an AI library called PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, or PSSR for short. What? PSSR analyzes the game images pixel by pixel and can add an extraordinary amount of detail, which boosts the effective resolution of the games. Game creators Again, that, ga that game played better on a PC than on a PS5. Types. And with the big three involved, the results can be pretty amazing with graphics showing something like fidelity levels of detail, but it doubled the frame rate. Here's the last- Again, this, this is a PS4 game. This is a PS4 game. This is, see, this is what pisses me off about Sony and why I don't have a PlayStation. Not to mention the fan, hey, the fan base is dumb as, is fucking retarded as shit. That is one. But bro, they are continuously revamp, revamping the same damn game and saying it's brand new. Is it? They did it with the PS3. They did it with, uh, with the Last of Us. They put it on the PS4, now the PS5, and now the Last of Us Part Two on the PS4. They put it on the PS5. Guys, this company loves ripping off its consumers, and the, the consumers are just fucking so, so damn stupid. They just go along with it. Last of Us Part Two running on PS5 Pro. It has huge amounts of detail and targets a super smooth 60 frames per second. Let's compare this to the fidelity mode on PS5, which is only running at 30 frames per second and is therefore much choppier. So the PS5 Pro was holding itself back with its own damn games? <laughs> the PS5 was holding itself back, was holding its own games back? And they had the nerve to trash talk freaking PC and Xbox? Okay. This goal of delivering almost fidelity like graphics at performance frame rate has been achieved for a broad set of times. This, ga this game right here was, was already messed up at launch. This game, Spider-Man 2 was already a, chunk, a uh, choppy ass game at launch. Including Marvel's Spider-Man 2. And Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, 
This game, this game played better on a goddamn uh, PC, even with the HDD. And see, you can see that they that the motion blur is probably off, most likely off on the left side. We can see that PS5 Pro is close to doubling the power of PlayStation 5. Another way to compare the two consoles is to look at PS5 Pro versus performance mode on PS5, both of which target 60 frames per second. What we see here is a difference in detail. PS5 Pro is much sharper and crisper than PS5. For this, my barely if you if you actually pay like real close attention, you can barely notice the difference. If you actually pay attention, like if you don't have an actual legitimate 120 hertz, hertz screen or TV, which most big screen TVs are freaking 60 hertz. You're not going to notice the difference unless you're playing on a monitor like mine's. Well, this monitor is, is 165 hertz. HD. Ultra HD. 1440p. People are not going to notice the difference unless they actually, they're actually actually squinting. A lot of people don't actually... Uh, some people don't actually uh, c you know care about the performance. They just care more about if the game is good or not. My favorite is the parade scene from Ratchet and Clank. Distant details are much clearer. And here again, it looks looks like they, they turn off the damn motion blur. Like like I said, guys, this company is is vastly screwing over people. <laughs> it's vastly screwing people over, man. A lot of people are pissed off. Hell, pe mo mainly people who that um, mainly people who are freaking uh, mainly play on PlayStation. Yeah, this is the re they say yeah. Okay, Sony, you're doing way too much for seven hundred goddamn dollars. You're doing way too much. I could have got got this money and just built me a PC. Bro, come on. Come on, guys. Sony has lost their damn minds. They have freaking lost their damn minds. And it, and it, it literally looks like they just turned off the motion blur for some of these games. And the fact that people are capping for this and they are actually trying to, you know, cap for this and say, oh, they're going to pay it day one. Where was y'all at when uh, freaking... Y'all keep on saying online that, you know, PlayStation users buy games, but then Square Enix came out and said, yeah, we're done with exclusivity with PlayStation because we're losing money. Seems like if y'all ain't going to buy those games, y'all ain't going to buy this. So Sony is just wasting money with this freaking PS5 Pro. And I don't want to hear no bullshit about, oh, this is a chance for Xbox uh, to bring in their mid-gen hardware. They don't need to. They know the Series X is enough. The Series X, the older version is at $450 this or at $400 the, the series s is at 200 or is that uh, yeah $250 like this is why a lot of people a lot of people in Japan and, and other countries are buying Xboxes because the price is a lot more cheaper and they can pay for it if they don't have the money to buy for this freaking scam that's called a PS5 Pro for 700 goddamn dollars again let me go ahead and, and go back to what the hell the goddamn price was for this freaking game. Because look look at the $700. $700. $700 for some things that people are not are barely even going to notice. If they're not, you know, playing games real close to, to, the, uh, to their monitor. They're not really going to notice the difference, guys. They're not. But, bro, the PS5 Pro is a goddamn scam. And I don't want to hear no nobody, you know, trying to cap for this bullshit either. For seven hundred goddamn dollars, Sony PlayStation has lost their damn minds. And guys, I truly believe that PlayStation, at, after the whole uh, Microsoft acquired Activision thing, that has tremendously hurt Sony in the long run. And we part, and we're seeing it right here, right now. They have, they barely have any first party games coming out. The only first party game they had was Astro Bot. They, they act like hardcore never even existed. And now they said that they're not, they don't have any huge first party titles until uh, 2025. That's what they said. Guys, this generation for both Xbox and PlayStation sucks. This generation for both Xbox and PlayStation sucks. But I'll be damned if I put seven hundred dollars into this bullshit, where I can build, the, I can get that. Actually, no, that eight hundred and fifty dollars 
from everything about this PS5 Pro and just put it into a PC. It was I'm glad I built my PC last year. So I, I don't have to be dealing with this bullshit. But like I said, guys, Sony's out there got their mind. And you're crazy as hell if you buy this. Hey, do what you want with your own damn money, but you're crazy as I'm, But I'm just going to say you're crazy as hell if you buy this. But guys, that's all I got for right here, man. If you guys like the video, like and subscribe. Share the video. Hit the notification bell. I will see you on the next one. Peace.